Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Sunday, July 3rd, 2016. I'm your host, Banks Lee. As always, we're going to take a look back at the past seven days of our Twitter feed at Attractions. So let's get started last Sunday on June 26th. We shared this photo from Epcot over in the Norway Pavilion, the new Anna and Elsa Royal Summer House meet and greet area. As you can see, um, now you may not be able to see right here, but it was a 15 minute wait when we posted this photo. The wait time for this meet and greet is really pretty short with the with the new ride, uh, Frozen Ride, right next door, and with the uh, Soren also at Epcot, and the fact that there's no fast pass for this, the wait time has been generally staying pretty low between 15 and 30 minutes, which is definitely a lot less compared to what Anna and Elsa's wait time was when they were at Magic Kingdom. So now's the time if you want to meet Anna and Elsa to go see them over at Epcot. Took this photo over at Bush Gardens of their new Cobra's Curse coaster. The walkways really go throughout the whole structure. You can get some really cool photos, like this photo right here of the coaster cars spinning. June 27th, we shared this photo of a preview of some of the merchandise that will be coming to the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival this fall. I love that shirt right there, that Taste Your Way Around the World shirt. I love that color. I love the uh, Epcot uh, Spaceship Earth logo behind it. It's pretty cool. Also on June 27th, we're over at Medieval Times in Kissimmee, and don't know if you knew this or not, but at Medieval Times, you can actually buy these cool-looking shields and swords. June 28th, we were filming this past week's episode of the show over at Fun Spot America in Kissimmee, and this is a look at their brand new ride they have there called Head Rush 360. You're going in a circle upside down while at the same time spinning around its... It's, it definitely looks very dizzying, but you can check out Andy writing that on this past week's episode of the show. Also on June 28th was the uh, media preview grand opening ceremony for the brand new Walking Dead attraction over at Universal Studios in Hollywood. And this is a look at the uh, entrance facade with a crashed helicopter. You can see a full walkthrough of this new attraction on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash attractions magazine. Spotted this billboard for Chick-fil-A around Orlando. Give that number a call. You never know what you might hear. Another new billboard we spotted around Orlando is this one for Skull Island Reign of Kong, Universal's Islands of Adventure. No opening date still, but the ride has pretty much been open every day for soft openings. Maybe sometime soon we'll hear of an official opening. June 30th, this photo of a meerkat over at Bush Gardens I think represents all of us. Just want to chill, relax. July 1st, we let everyone know that for a limited time, a sneak peek of Pete's Dragon can be seen inside the One Man's Dream Theater over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. July 2nd, at Magic City Mayhem on Twitter, shared this photo of the now-uncovered entrance facade for the Incredible Hulk coaster, and it's redo. It's a brand new facade there, Hulk statue holding up a front of one of the coaster cars and some torn-up pieces of track there. Fun fact, those pieces of track come from the old version of the coaster before they took it out and installed this new track that you see up behind there. It comes from the scrapyard. I think that's a pretty neat way to uh, honor its past. Also on July 2nd, the brand new Coca-Cola store over at Disney Springs officially opened. Inside you can find lots of uh, merchandise that's uh, Coke branded. And on the, on the top, on the rooftop lounge there, they have a, um, a place where you can get some flavors from around the world and sample those. It's, uh, it's not free like Club Cool. The uh, international tray will cost you about $8, but it includes 16 different flavors and uh, pretty good sized cups to try them all out. In fact, here's a look at the two trays with all the flavors of Coke from around the world that you can try. As I said, it's $8 for those together. You can uh, There's another one that is um, eight Coke floats, different flavors, for eight fifty, or you can combine both of those for $14. I have a lot of friends who collect Tervis tumblers, and at the Coca-Cola store at Disney Springs, they got a lot of designs you can choose from. You can see a full tour of the inside of the Coke store on our YouTube page. And finally, this week, we shared this photo pass photo, brand new on-ride photo you can get at Walt Disney World. This one is for the all-new all Frozen Ever After attraction. So you see, uh, it takes, uh, the photo is taken right after you see Marshmallow on the little drop there near the end of the ride. Now, this is a photo that you can only get if you're wearing a magic band on the ride. There's no uh, kiosk you can go to after the ride. It's, very, it's like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. You have to be wearing a magic band, so be sure to remember those when you're riding Frozen. And that's going to do it this week for the Weekly Rewind. Be sure to tune into the show this past week. I told you about earlier, we preview the new Head Rush 360 attraction over at Fun Spot in Kissimmee. We're also into Cedar Point in Ohio to see their new Val Raven coaster. Check that out. And until next week, guys, have fun. We'll see you later.